hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is queen and nikki today i want to show you how to make um, use of multi-color extension for your ghana weaving and i'm using color pink and um, sharp blue then i'm using a darling product i'm actually using darling product because they have the sharp sharp colors so firstly you comb the hair very well after that you section the hair into two equal parts you section it into two please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video after the pattern into two section then you come at the other side then you session it again then you see because we are doing chuku then you have to session the hair into four places can you see i cut the extension i mean the darling products into two because she actually wants it very long after that you are taking small from the the divided one the the four parts divided so you are taking small 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 from each each session for you to achieve your inner braid to make your chuku more fuller and this is what we are doing inside can you see now so i'm using sharp color blue and pink so what i'm doing here is that i'm doing braid inside so i'm doing like three braid one blue and uh, two pink please make the braid tight can you see this is the outcome of what i want to achieve two pink and one i'm using two pink because the the pink is two pack and a blue is one pack then you begin the process the ghana weaving you begin doing it i'm so sorry i made the hair off camera but you can actually see how i make it clearly here now so firstly you start the hair with normal cornrow without adding any extension you just take the starting one which you are uh, to take small one to start and after weaving it for a like two three inches you begin the feed in by adding the attachment for the ghana braid can you see don't make it too tight if you are doing it to avoid the edges not to break that is why you need to weave it from the starting point you weave it as a normal cornrow before you begin the ghana braid before you begin the feeding can you see so the reason why i'm doing two pink and a one blue is that she's using two pack of uh, pink and she's using one blue so that is how you continue you can achieve any side part any part of your of your choice you can make it any part slanting center and a uh, half part so she's doing big big ghana weaving and she wants it very long can you see the way i'm doing it make the braid tight make it very tight because if you make it too loose after putting the air inside water out water it won't come out well so now i'm doing the back part can you see when you are starting the cornrow 
don't make it too tight can you see how free the back is because if you over pick it will cause boil on your client's hair and uh, probably the hair might not last but she'll be feeling pain so you need to hold it not too tight that is how you continue making the hair and you see We're using, we are making it two pink, one blue. So I wrap the remaining hair so that it won't disturb me while I'm making the back. And this is the last part of the back section that I'm making. Can you see? Don't over all the hair at the beginning so that the edges will not break after losing the hair. So you need to value your edges and value your client's edges. It's very, very important. Please note that you continue doing your Ghana. This is how you begin the Ghana. You start from small attachments so gradually you increase the attachment as you are going back the attachment become bigger but you start with small the reason why the attachment is big is because we are doing big big Ghana weaving and mostly if you are doing big Ghana weaving so is uh, the hair came out well why the the hair is more longer than making it short so can you see we are done with our braid then you after making the hair after when you are done with the Ghana weaving you trim the hair very well take your time to trim where the hair very well because um you need to trim it very well because of darling products the excess one is much so you have to be careful and trim it very well one one after that you you added all to water to make the air free and to make it pencil after that you trim the excess one because you need the hair to be equal you use your razor blade don't use your scissors can you see my client is actually happy with the hair and this is the last part of the hair please subscribe